The last piece to complete our first CRUD process, create, read, update, delete, is our edit. So when I am managing my types and I click edit, notice we go to a URL of types slash edit slash the ID of our type. And at this point, we're getting page not found. So we need some roots. So let's add some more. Our first one is going to be get, and it'll be slash console slash types slash edit. And just like our delete, we're gonna provide a type, which is going to be an ID. Then when that root is initiated, we're going to call our types controller. And specifically, we are going to create an edit form method. We can validate that ID. And just like we did our delete, we want the type to be a number. And just like our delete, we want to still apply our middleware that this visitor must be logged in to access this page. Second, once that form loads and the visitor clicks submit, we are going to load our console slash types slash edit still with our type except this time the method is post. So we can share that URL again. And this time we're going to call a method called edit. And we still want to validate our ID. So where type is zero to nine. Just forgot my quotes. And we still want our middleware to make sure our visitor is authorized. If I go back to our application and refresh, so that route is getting initiated. It's trying to load the edit form from our types controller, which does not exist. So again, that is progress. So let's go over to our types controller and we want to add an edit form. Let's copy our add form and just paste that here. And it's the same process except this time because our edit form needs to be pre-populated. When we call our types edit view, we want to include data. So as the second parameter, we can include some data. And in this case, we want to include a type. And that type is going to be the type variable. And just like our delete, we add that up here. We specify that that one parameter from our URL is a type, and it's going to be placed in a type variable. So just to recap, the URL includes edit slash five. The route tells us that edit slash five and the type is actually, this number here is a type. Fix that bracket while I'm here. Then when the method is initiated, it's gonna pass in what was initially just a number. We're gonna specify that this is actually a type, so it will automatically go and look up the type using that ID, and we're gonna pass that type into our types edit view using the name type. And you'll see how we access that in our view. If I save and refresh, again, progress, our add edit form method is being initiated. 
it's lo it's finding a type and then it's calling our types.edit which at this point does not exist. So scroll down to our views and in our types create a new file called edit.blade.php and most of this is going to look like our add page. So I'm just going to jump over to add, copy the whole thing into our edit and let's just change the title here. So I'll save that and refresh and there's our form. Now it looks like an ad form except our title so we need to pre-populate that form and it would be nice to tell the visitor exactly what they are editing. So first just a couple wording here we fixed our title our button should be edit type our URL needs to be console slash types slash edit slash and we need to maintain that ID so that our edit page knows which record to edit. So anytime we want to pull data from that type variable we created in our edit form method we just say output type and in this case we want the ID. Here we could quickly include the title so let's just remind them of what they are editing. Type title and then in our one text box we want to make sure that this is pre-populated with the old title. Now, old is set up to pull title from the previous form submission. However, when it first loads, we can add a second parameter here and say type title. So when this form loads, it'll look for a title from the previous form submission, but the, if that doesn't exist, it will use this, which is the title from our record which is perfect. When the form loads, it loads the title from our record. We make changes, click submit. Oops, there's some validation errors. Our previous form content stays in the form. We can fix it and then submit. So let's save this and refresh. All right, so I'm getting an error. It looks like I've just spelled type wrong somewhere. So just right here, spelled type wrong and refresh and there we go so there is our previous type and if I just make a change and click edit so the form was submitted except now we don't have a method to receive our data so if we go back to our types controller add a public function called edit that's what we named it in our in our route and in our edit method we still want to receive a type we then want to validate our form so I'm just going to copy the validation from our ad then if the form validation is successful. Just like our ad, we want to copy everything but not the new type because in this case our type is coming from here. In the case of an ad, we're creating a new type. So I'm going to copy everything but that first line. We take our type, change the title to the title contributed by our visitor in the form, then save, redirect, back to our list and say type has been edited and let's give that a try so I'll save and refresh okay and I'm still getting an error here hey right, and if I look at my routes my issue is right here I put an equal sign instead of a dash so if I refresh there we go. 
So notice our change has been made and we have our message. So that completes a simple CRUD process for types. In the next couple of videos, we need to duplicate this for projects, which be, will be a little more work because projects has multiple fields. And then users, same idea, not as many columns as projects, but still more than types.